To give you an idea of what class discussions are like in college, we went around and asked current freshmen, and some of their professors, about their thoughts and experiences. The responses to the following five questions should get you a little more comfortable with class discussions. What did you think of class discussions before your FSEM? Before I took my FSEM class, I wasn't really excited about the whole discussion part because my experience with them before is they're always like awkward and no one would really talk and there wasn't a lot of information flying around. I thought that they were really important, but also I was like nervous about them whenever we would do it in class in high school. I would be a little like off put by it. Um, I thought that they were a bit of a hindrance, but um, I didn't really see the point behind them prior to, prior to coming into college. After FSEM, like it really got me into it and I was able to like start speaking more in class and like participating more. What is your overall impression of class discussions? So overall, I think that class discussions are um, a great way for students to create their own knowledge and to talk to each other. And they also help with social interaction um, later on outside of class and it just um, gets you thinking about Diff how different um, things can apply to other situations. I think that they're really helpful. I think that they can really help you understand what you're talking about, as well as you get to know the people that are in your discussion better based on what their thoughts are about the um, discussion. Yeah, and they also get you prepared for doing presentations, like talking in front of the class, because you're used to talking in front of people and you know expressing your ideas. What makes a good class discussion? I think what makes a good class discussion is when everyone comes in prepared. Um, they come in with you know, a foundation for the discussion which, so that we can have a really deep conversation and kind of a more enriched conversation about a topic rather than kind of just surface level discussions. It's when students take risks. Right? When they say, I don't know if this is right, and that's almost always how they start this, the comment, right? I don't know if this is right, but, um, and then something good is going to come out because they're trying to think creatively and critically about how these ideas relate to each other. Everyone is just excited to talk, and everyone is just willing and has their own opinion, and it's strong. What makes a bad class discussion? So unsuccessful class discussions, those, I just it's like crickets, right? When we get into a mindset of thinking there is only one right answer, so once one person speaks, we don't need to talk anymore. There was one discussion we had in my FSEM, and it was one that I like didn't do the reading for, and I didn't know at all what we were talking about, so that made it really bad for me, because I felt like the, the very few times that I raised my hand, I said really dumb things in class. So I think that like being prepared when you go into a discussion is the most important thing. Some people in class discussions have a tendency to attack other people's ideas if they aren't necessarily the same or agreeable, so, so like, so like one person would just be like, no, you're wrong, just you're straight wrong, when it's like an opinion-based question. So really, no one's wrong unless they can't, unless they're not able to support their idea. Why should we hold class discussions? Okay. I think especially for a first-year seminar, it's really important because the students are supposed to be creating the knowledge. They're supposed to be developing their own expertise and their own understanding of ideas and coming to their own conclusions. And if we don't do that through discussion, they're, they're not going to do that. They help facilitate new perspectives and ways of thinking. Um, the chances that someone like does try to put you down or something in a class discussion, it doesn't occur very often. So. Classes should hold discussions just because they make the classroom more comfortable to be in and you're more comfortable around the, the peop with the people around you and it's just easier to learn the information that way. It does get you prepared for speaking in front of people and it also helps you like, kind of get to know the people around you so you can feel comfortable and if, like I said, if you're passionate then you can, it gives you a chance to express your ideas which you wouldn't usually get to have. It gets people talking about a subject that either they want to talk about or they don't want to talk about and that's super, that's what happens in the real world. Like, and I think that class discussions also give people a chance to kind of tie in their own personal experiences to the material. We always want to kind of have a, an anchor for our learning. So if you get to participate in class discussions and if you kind of tell your story about how the knowledge relates to you, then it gives you an anchor and it gives you a place to kind of hold that in your brain and kind of um, attach other pieces of information there as well. And for some people who may not be grasping the concepts, that may be kind of the entryway to helping them remember the information or think about it in a way that they haven't looked at it before. Now that you have a good idea of what to expect, we can look into what you should do and what you should not do in class discussions. Click next in your Canvas window to continue.